there. And let's go back to Bruce Rader in Virginia Beach. I'm wondering if we're hearing any numbers on light rail. That's been a big issue on the ballot Waiting there. Waiting for that, Bruce. Hey, you guys are getting faster numbers than we are here at the Will Sessoms uh, campaign headquarters. It's been a long night here. Not quite as long, though, for the, as for the people that were standing in line for hours to vote. With me, uh, Virginia Beach Mayor Will Sessoms, uh, we are seeing trending numbers. Yeah. Trending numbers that showing you winning re-election -re and trending numbers that the light rail referendum will win. But real quickly, what do you have to say to the voters that stood out in the rain for hours? I'm so proud of them, I can't begin to tell you. This is a military community, and we have people that go put their life on the line every day in our city, in our region, and in, the, in our country. And everyone stayed out there for up to four hours to, you know, exercise their right to vote for what these people do to make sure they have the ability to do so. All right. I'm very proud. The latest numbers we're getting in. Light Rail is leading with 60% of the vote with 60% of the precincts reporting. How big is that? for the future of Virginia Beach. Well, it's very encouraging, but we must also remember that this vote, if it passes, and I anticipate it doing so, will result in a thorough evaluation, finding out if the federal money's there, and, and input from the public. Then we will make our decision. You have a study out regarding the yep. future of light rail yep. in your city. When will you get the results of that study? It, it will come in June or July. So nothing happens until then? Absolutely not. Let's talk about you. You win re-election. The way the numbers are trending, it looks like it's going to be by a large margin. You have supported light rail. You are supporting a proposal for a new arena in the resort city. You're supporting a new office building at town center. Is this a mandate for Virginia Beach to grow? Well, I don't look at it as a mandate at all. I look at it as we should move our city progressively but responsibly. We look at each deal on its own. If it makes sense, we do it. If it doesn't, we don't. Hey, what about that arena? I'm a sports guy. Well, a lot well, of sports fans are out there. When are you going to get the report regarding that? I will sit back and tell you that I think hopefully in the next 30 days we'll have a handle where we, whether we move forward or not. But I will also say this. If we don't move forward to that in 30 days, Hampton Roads, Virginia Beach, the Commonwealth of Virginia can handle an arena. And we must look forward to every opportunity that comes about to bring professional sports to the city of Virginia Beach, Hampton Roads, and the Commonwealth of Virginia. Thank you, Mayor. It's been a long day for the mayor. It's been a long night here, but even a longer night for the voters of Virginia Beach and others around Hampton Roads. We'll stay with you until we get some final results. Live in Virginia Beach, I'm Bruce Rader.